Well, we're definitely too close here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an experiment. An experiment I've wanted to try for a long time. You might notice that uh, video quality is a little bit different than it usually is. Uh, that's because I'm using a new camera, the Canon M50. You also might notice that I could just completely walk off screen. I continue to walk off screen and hey, I'm not on screen at all. I'm just completely nowhere. And yet the quality of the mic doesn't change. You don't hear me disappearing. Like you don't get that Doppler effect of me going further and further away. That's because we're using a lav mic. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? What if I do this? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear the lav mic? Can you hear the lav? But it's a mic connected to the lapel with a wire running down to a little box on my hip that is transmitting to a device that's connected to the camera. Look at that. Isn't that special? I've always wanted to just walk around and rant and ramble. Uh, I realize that I'm not in the ideal position right now with how my camera is set up because my camera is definitely in a stationary place and where I'm walking off to is not on screen. Ideally, I would be walking around the room with the camera in a place further back. Um, but you know, I also want to keep looking at that screen. When I record with my phone, you want to be able to see what you're recording. So I'm always recording with the front facing camera and the front facing camera is no good, not compared to the forward facing camera, but I can't see myself if I use the forward facing camera. With this, I'm using this camera, which is better than the forward facing camera uh, lens, but I also get to see my little screen right there. Hello me. But I keep wanting to look here instead of here. So that's going to be a problem. This video is just sort of me testing out this equipment, but there's something I wanted to talk about and that was the death of the people who inspired you. Not a literal death, but creatively. Uh, what if someone who inspires you creatively just all of a sudden stops inspiring you creative, creatively? What do you do from that point on? And I wish I had a solid answer, but I'm just gonna, gonna meditate on that idea for a little bit. I would say there were three major influences on me doing YouTube. Uh, the very first one, the proto, the er example of what made me start doing YouTube was a dude named Lost Paws. Noble from Lost Paws. He was a happy dude, loved what he was doing, was having fun, and I watched his stuff and I'm like, I like this dude. He was playing games. I was subscribed to him when he was about at 30,000 subscribers, when he was a small little dude. Um, but this really isn't the best camera setup, is it? If I just want to walk off completely in another direction. He was the one who like inspired me to start doing YouTube in the current way. I know I've talked about Night Slash 2020 and how I started like the early stop motions, but in this current generation of me doing YouTube, starting with that video that came out in October of 2015, that was a result from inspiration from Noble of Lost Paws. Now Noble of Lost Paws gave me the inspiration to start doing YouTube. And I kind of followed up on my inspiration from him by doing visual novels since he did visual novels a lot during that time period. I'm not sure if he really does them today. I don't watch him anymore. Mostly because he converted to a Reddit reaction channel basically. And uh, I don't really like Reddit channels. <laughs> there's actually one, there's one I watch a lot called MXR Plays. Noble stopped inspiring me. But anyway, I moved on and I discovered another YouTuber that really inspired me, a man named General Sam. Now, General Sam, I thought was hilarious. Uh, his vlogging videos are top notch, and I think you're going to see more vlogging type videos from me based off of his old vlogging style videos with this camera. I don't know, his videos really had a special atmosphere to them that I really wanna see if I can replicate in my own videos. I think I have way too much energy, and I'm talking way too straightforwardly than General Sam used to. His, his Let's Play videos were also a big influence on me. A lot of his Let's Play videos in the early days was following a story. Now there was a stage, eventually General Sam transitioned into this phase where he pretty much exclusively did Let's Play videos. He cut out the vlogs, but these Let's Play videos were always done with his friends on Discord. And I'm going to be honest with you, General Sam's friends are not nearly as entertaining as General Sam by himself. And because it's a multiplayer game, uh, it's less of a story being told through a game, through gameplay that's created by the Let's Player and not necessarily the game itself. And it's just more of a General Sam and some idiots playing some games. And uh, 
I really didn't care much for that stuff, so I stopped watching General Sam a long time, a long while ago. But uh, old General Sam, I take a lot of inspiration from. The quiet Commander Radix intro, it's just a fade in and fade out, nothing too fancy. That's partly from his old uh, General Sam intros. It's also from old iDub stuff, where I got that idea from. The, the font I use, the Bebis New font, uh, is absolutely from General Sam stuff, 100% ripped off from that. Uh, he made a good video on how to make thumbnails, and I pretty much follow that video to the T uh, for the most part from this from that point forward. But General Stan, General Stan, General Sam stopped making the type of videos I would watch, so I haven't really checked up on him in a while. However, another creator came in and really influenced me, and that was Digibro, um, who really inspired me to make content I wanted to make. Digibro broke down the core concepts of YouTube for me. He also was a very transparent creator where he talked through pretty much every decision he made with his vlogs, with his posts, and his videos themselves. He would talk about everything that's going on in his mind. Uh, he wouldn't really pigeonhole himself into a specific type of content. You can argue he kind of did for anime critical analysis, but beyond that he just did whatever he wanted and he didn't care if anything stopped him or not. Uh, but he did understand the concept of what I always re regurgitate in my videos, the concept of the marketable product and the art, and how you need to have the two live in an equilibrium. But Digibro had a way of explaining things that I thought was a perfect way to explain things. It was all good with Digibro. Digibro went downhill. Uh, very rapidly. Like very, almost like overnight it became one of the worst YouTube channels. Uh, and I chalk, I chalk it up to him just taking his own lessons and throwing them out the window. <laughs> And he always walked a thin edge of doing whatever he wanted while still um, being somewhat appealing. Uh, and then he jumped off that ledge entirely. And it's like, oh boy, oh boy, Digibro, what are you doing? I don't want to get too much into the downfall of Digibro, uh, but safe to say, Digibro was like my main inspiration for a long time. And now that inspiration is gone. The old videos are still there, and I guess that's really what I had to think about. Because I get this inspiration from a living community. I get inspiration from living and thriving. I, it's really hard for me to find inspiration by going into the archives of someone who used to inspire me, re-watching those archives and getting new ideas, because I've already been exposed to that stuff. It's not bringing new ideas to me. It's just making me meditate on previous ideas I already done did know. And I guess that's one of my largest problems with me doing YouTube right now, and it's that I don't have any inspirations. Nobody inspires me. Uh, General Sam... He's still good, but it's, it's not the stuff I liked. Uh, Digibro is not good in the slightest. <laughs> How annoying is it for me continuing to walk off screen and walk back on screen? I'm really taking advantage of this microphone's ability, but uh, I have a feeling it's very distracting for someone watching the video uh, off through the lens of the camera. I really should have picked a better spot to place the camera. Should have put it back there so I could wander around this room. This is what I do, by the way, when I'm not recording anything, when I'm not editing anything. I'm just walking around. I'm just thinking to myself, walking around like this. So it's sort of a more natural way of how I think through things. Where was I? Yes, I can't really look back to the archives. It's just, looking back to the archives helps you meditate on some old things, but you're not getting new ideas introduced to you to sort of go through. I think that's the worst part of losing uh, the people who inspired you. So. What I'm going to be trying, and what I've been trying, but what I'm continuing to be trying, what I am continuing to try is trying to keep alive the stuff that did inspire me, keeping the things in place from General Sam that inspired me, keeping the things of Digibro that inspired me, really merging this thing to, merging these concepts, these ideas to create my own style of YouTube. And I think that's the ultimate goal of YouTube. Like, it's to 
get all these ideas. And really the ultimate goal of any creative venture is to figure out all these styles, all these ideas, take what you like, and then synthesize them into your own style. So that's what I'm having to be, that's, that's the big quest of where I am in YouTube right now. I think I've been doing YouTube for about four, maybe five years at this point. I really should at this point be piecing together my own Command Erratic style. Yeah, especially when we lost the main creators that inspired me. It's difficult. It's difficult. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to find the Command Erratic style. But yeah, glad I have a new camera. This bring a new camera and lab mic. This brings a whole lot more possibilities. Even though most of the videos I make are done reading a script where I'm not on camera right here. Or sometimes when I'm using a camera, I'm playing a game or reacting to something online, which means I should already be on the computer. But this opens up more possibility for vlogs, more possibilities for me to talk about things like this, just random talking. A lot of the, uh, the uh, Commander's Cabin style vlogs could be done in this style, which would be a tad bit more high quality. Uh, but yeah. Finding your style is one of the level two parts of YouTube. Level level one is starting up, getting what you, d deciding what you want to do on YouTube, and gathering your information, gathering your, just like any other form of art, you do research on the history of art. You do research on the different media, on the different styles of art, the leading philosophies on art. And then stage two is when you're starting to compile things into your own signature style. And that's where I'm at right now. And it's a rough transition, let me tell you that. It's been leaving me like a little bit uninspired, uh, running out of unique ideas besides, oh, here's another series that will keep me covered for 30 more videos until I run out of episode ideas for the series. Or in a case like American History, uh, that has an end point. I think American History is gonna be around 30 episodes long, 33 episodes maybe, probably longer. Uh, because I think it's a joke if I think I can cover the Civil War or World War II in one episode each. I'll probably have to break those down further. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new camera. I hope it looks good. I hope you can see all my weird acne and pores and stuff uh, in HD that you couldn't have seen beforehand. I hope the mic's doing okay. It's obviously not going to be the blue... Uh, the blue snowball right up to my mouth type style with some of my recorded videos where I'm reading a script or something, but I think it does the job certainly better than without the mic, but yeah Sounds good still trying to find my own style so thank you guys so much for watching check out the social media links in the description if you want to keep up with me and the community uh, subscribe to this channel yet why haven't you subscribed yet like over 80 percent of you haven't subscribed yet what's up with that what's the deal with that huh um <laughs> but yeah thank you guys have a great day ladies and gentlemen